Overclocking TV again from the Gigabyte motherboard booth and I'm here with Tim Hanley. So Tim, what do you have here? Well, at Gigabyte we're really focused on good quality. So we have a slogan, it's good quality components make good quality motherboards. So what I've got over here are some chokes and a solid capacitor. And this big black one over here, it's got R60 written on it. This is an iron core choke. So you can see it's black and uh, this one we use on our entry level motherboards. The next one is this R50 and you can see this is a grey colour, so this is ferrite. Now ferrite is slightly better than iron core chokes because it, it holds a charge for longer. In other words, it doesn't lose electricity, it doesn't lose a charge. So it's more energy efficient actually. Um, this is what we use on our mainstream motherboards. And then this last one you can see, the shiny one. Uh, this is a ferrite core choke that has been polished. What, actually what they use is a, they use a jewelry polisher to get it this color and make it shine like this. Um, so this is the same as a normal ferrite core choke, it just looks more beautiful. And here you can see on this motherboard, this is a P55A UD7. These are the chokes over here. These are the polished ferrite core chokes. And we choose the polished ferrite core chokes because they are the same color as the heat pipes and the CPU clip. So it's for aesthetics to make it look better. And if we look back at these uh, two ferrite core chokes, the unpolished one takes about one day to produce. The polished one takes about four days. So it's slightly more expensive. But for us, aesthetics is important, especially for overclockers who don't hide their motherboard away inside a chassis. So uh, yeah, there's a bit of background about the, the high quality components that we use. This is a solid capacitor from Japan. And as you can see, every capacitor on the motherboard is the same as this. It's a, high quality, expensive Japanese capacitor. So th those capacitors are part of the ultra durable program? Ultra durable 3, that's right. The idea behind that again is just good quality components make good quality motherboards. Okay, thank you Tim Hanley. It was Overclocking TV from Gigabyte Booth.